All right, driver of the vehicle, get no, out of the speedy. vehicle and let me Don't see your hands. You. Oh, shots fired, shots fired. Oh, there we go, good spikes, and that's what I was. Thanks. All right, Chuck Norris, holy shit. The brakes, I believe I can fly again. Ran over a couple. Here it comes. Oh, he just got nailed by that Hummer. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. I am SoCal Thero and today we're going to be doing kind of a highway patrol even though we are in a um, police unit but we're kind of going to be doing commercial vehicle enforcement here um, obviously because we're driving a truck but we will try to catch speeders and whatnot as hard as it might be in a uh, Chevy Silverado we're still going to try regardless and write some citations as that guy visually looked like he was moving pretty quick by us there. So, as far as that goes, like, as far as where we're going to be operating is concerned, we're probably going to operate mostly on the highways within the city here. We're not going to go too far out into, like, Blaine County and whatnot. But, uh, we'll just kind of keep it around here. See, uh, what kind of speeders we get, any kind of vehicle, like, commercial vehicles we need to stop and have a chat with. Um, obviously there's no specific script for stuff like this, so we're going to have to either RP or try to get pretty creative with, uh, traffic stops for, uh, commercial vehicles. But, uh, with all that being said, guys, I'm going to get out here on patrol and I'm going to see what we get into. Oh, we just had these two vehicles up ahead here kind of near miss or collide it looks like this van right whoa what is that van doing he just switched lanes he's passing okay well this van's getting pulled over just got on the freeway smacked into somebody it looked like then he slid all the way over there he's cutting that guy off okay Man, that took forever for him to pick up. I hope I can pull him over in the median up here. Whoops. See if we can, yeah, we'll get him right here. Come on, dude, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Just because I'm doing commercial doesn't mean I'm not going to pull somebody else over for being a jackass. All right, pull it over this way now so we don't get hit by traffic. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and get out and have a chat with this guy. Or woman, sorry. Good afternoon, ma'am. Oh man, I forgot what I'm doing. <laughs> Trooper Thero with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop is you uh, kind of were driving recklessly getting onto the freeway and then just trying to get onto this freeway too when you were merging. I don't know if you realized it, but you cut off a motorcycle rider that was in the lane just to get into the lane on the left. You got your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance. All right, thank you. Mora Santos. All right, let's go back here and take a look at what we got. Man, I love this truck. This truck looks amazing. The light bar set up and everything. Reese 97 did a really good job with that uh, with that truck. The thing looks absolutely awesome. Uh, license is valid. She's not wanted or anything like that. As far as the vehicle goes, Vehicle's good. Everything seems to be fine on it. Um, so we're just going to be writing her a citation today for that. Because she could have caused an accident with this uh, with these uh, weather conditions out here. I'm going to say improper lane change. And she was passing a bunch of cars too, trying to get around them. Oh, uh, she's driving a van. There we go. Improper lane change. And we'll put improper... Uh, we'll put violation of right away. There we go. So we'll get her for those two. Not gonna be cutting her a break today. She was driving, like I said, it was all about her. Alright, ma'am, here's your information back. I'm gonna be writing you a citation today for $250. 
for improper lane change and then also uh, the way that you're driving is pretty reckless here. You're going to need your signature at the bottom of the citation. It's not an admission of guilt or saying that, uh, yeah, I, I said that I, or yeah, I did all these things and I'm admitting to it. It's just simply stating that you received the ticket from me and that you, uh, that you plan uh, either taking care of it or you're going to go to court to fight it, okay? And the date to fight this ticket is at the bottom here as well for when you need to appear. So I'm going to go ahead and need your signature on it. Thank you for that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and return to my vehicle. Once I do, you're free to leave as long as it's safe to do so, okay? So I hope you have a good rest of your afternoon and please slow it down and drive a little bit safer in these rainy conditions, okay? Take care. Oh. Oh. We're gonna let her go with just a citation we're gonna get back in our truck here and we're gonna head back out here and see if we uh, catch anybody else driving pretty stupid <laughs> oh what the hell you just hit my oh you oh jackass is racing and he just obliterated that car or that truck there is no way I'm going to be able to catch up to all of this. Oh, there goes a fender. And there goes the other fender, it looks like. Oh my god. Terrible traffic accident. You okay? Alright, he's okay. I don't know if I'll be able to... Oh, they're still here. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. It's a street race that's going on, obviously. And, oh my god, they're just hitting car after car, crashing themselves out. It's raining. I'm stopping this before it can go anywhere. Yeah, you're done, dude. Come here. Switch to my gun. Oh, he's gonna trip. Alright, let's stop, dude. No, 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 no. Stop. Alright, I'm gonna arrest him real quick. I'm going to see if I could get some other units on the other car. Because I got this guy stopped right now. Alright, boss. You got anything on you I need to be concerned with? Knives, drugs, guns, anything like that? No, I wasn't going to let this guy get away. He's hit so many cars getting up here, too. Trying to street race his buddy in that Enos. A lockpick and a Playboy magazine. Alright. Go ahead and uh, get a pet check on him. And then we're going to go ahead and ask PT to come pick him up. And we're going to get his car towed, too. We're going to try to get this scene cleared up quickly. Was not what I was planning on addressing, but when I'm literally driving down the road looking for something, like as far as infractions go, and then somebody's going to nail me. Not once, but twice when I'm just driving down the road. It's definitely going to get my attention. Well, let's go ahead and just put our traffic advisor on just for the meantime so people can get by. It looks like somebody rear-ended my truck, too. Alright, cool. So, tow truck picked up his vehicle. PT is having a hard time getting here. Okay, they're here now. Is his buddy wiped out down the road, it looks like? Oh, you stupid idiot. Just rear-ended my car. All right, we're going to go after the second guy. It looks like... Oh, yeah, here's his car. It looks like his buddy wiped out, and he is running right now on foot. And he has stopped as well. Cool. Holy shit. Great work, guys. Well, since I'm doing traffic, kind of, we're going to go ahead and head back here and try to... Yeah, they arrested him. Cool. I'm going to just call PT to come get him while he's down here. I'm going to back it up and get to the wreck up here and get this car cleared. Get the traffic advisor going. Yep, come on, guys. Go around. Go around. Alright, so we're going to call for a tow truck for this thing. 
This is the first time I think I've ever caught both street racers, and to do it in a Chevy Silverado is pretty freaking amazing. Although I will admit, I kind of just pitted the first guy to stop him while he was messed up. Who is blowing their horn out their ass right now? God damn. But to catch both street racers, that's pretty freaking cool. So, glad I could finally check that off of a box of stuff that I wanted to accomplish in this game. With the uh, with LSPDFR, but all that being said, our car is kind of toast. So we're gonna go back and get another truck, and uh, we'll see what else we come across out here. All right, we got a truck. It looks like a some sort of like soda delivery truck or something here in the number one lane that's weaving a little bit, like the driver's not all there he's uh you could see it up there he's about two vehicles ahead of me uh i can't do that right now i'm gonna clear that off real quick so we're gonna be stopping him as soon as we can because he looks like he shouldn't be out driving as i can get around all this traffic try to clear some of it so I can get to him there we go thank you oh man this is not gonna be a good spot to pull him over but it's gonna have to do I can blimp him actually I could probably get a better spot up here kill the lights real quick Kick him back on. Why is it not blimping him? I gotta like tap him to get him to know it's me. Trying to pull him over. Alright. Oh, damn. Sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're trying to get. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're trying to get off the freeway here. Alright, dude. Turn your truck. I'm gonna have to hit that car. Come on, man. Figure it out. Back up. Go. You gonna go? Come on. Come on. Come on. You almost got it. I see you trying. I see you trying. I don't want to block this lane, but I might have to. If this guy can't fit. There we go. Get that car out of the way. This truck is so big, I might have to block the lane anyways. There you go, dude. Just scrape it up. There you go. Alright, you're good. You're good. You're good. I'm blocking this lane. I don't feel like getting hit. So what kind of truck is this? It's a Benson. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, he figured it out. Go around, dude. Go around. I don't feel like getting hit, like I said. Well, we're going to have a talk with this guy. He's having a real hard time maintaining the lane. Hey boss, how's it going? Trooper Thero with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop is I noticed you were kind of having a hard time maintaining your lane back there. Um, haven't been doing any drinking or anything, have you? Only one? Okay, that's cool. Thank you for uh, thank you for being honest with me. I appreciate that. Do me a favor. Can you go ahead and give me your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance? All right, thanks. And then go ahead and do me one more favor here. Let's just go ahead and step out here and we'll talk, okay? I'm going uh, I'm to just take a hold of you here. You're not under arrest or anything. I just don't want you to get hit by a car, okay? We're going to we're gonna go have a chat over here by my truck. I just don't want the traffic to hit us or anything like that. I just want us to be safe, all right? So just go ahead and stand right there for me. You ain't got any weapons or anything like that on you, do you? Yeah, I'd be concerned with. All right. Let's go ahead and... Uh, go ahead and... Oh, call the backup unit is going to crash me again. Damn it. Well, I kind of got an idea of what it is now that's conflicting with my game. It's that backup buddy thing. It seems to not like that at all. Police, let's see some hands up. Jesus, you're a loser. Up. All right, so I'm asking for the guy's ID again. I got my game going back up again. It looks like his name probably changed, but I'm getting a strong odor of alcohol, so that's good. The game 
kind of kept that going i'm not going to call for a backup unit just because that seems to be my problem is that backup buddy script it just has some conflicts with it right now so i'm just going to be checking out this guy's information before we do a uh oh that's right because technically this vehicle's not his anymore before we do the sobriety test here all right boss your information checks out good i'm gonna go ahead and just perform a roadside breathalyzer test on you here just to make sure that you're not uh under the influence of alcohol and you can't operate a motor vehicle 0 0.19 all right boss i need you to do me a favor again turn around place your hands behind your back like you're praying you're gonna be placed under arrest today for driving under the influence of alcohol now, do you have anything on you that I need to be concerned with? Knives, drugs, RPGs, grenades, sticks, nunchucks, anything like that? Clown mask and a car key fob. All right. All right, boss. Come with me. We're going to put you in my truck. Oh, wait. No, my truck can't. Well, let's see if this truck actually recognizes the back seats. Although, I mean, there's suicide doors. I don't know how this would work. Okay, I guess it's going to work. That's a first. That's cool. That actually works. So we're going to call PT for him. And we're going to get his truck towed out of here. I don't know if they can tow this thing, if it's too big or not. That's pretty cool, though, to see that I, um, what the issue is now. I'm pretty happy with what the what script it is that's causing me the issue i'm disappointed though because i mean i love that script the backup buddy one oh that's totally legit um but it is what it is just have to wait till all the kinks get worked out with it yep he's on the other side sorry man oh he closed my door you man that's cool all right well, we're going to be code 4 off of this, and uh, we're going to be 10-8 back out on patrol here. And there it is. We have a vehicle that should not be operating right now on the roadway. So, go ahead and let traffic know we're trying to get in here. Come on, dude. Stop tailgating him, too, on top of it. I want to have to pull your ass over, too. Uh, we're going to be pulling this vehicle over after we just got done with that uh, drunk driver call. Well, not call, but observation. And we're going to be talking to this gentleman here. His vehicle is definitely not roadworthy. He was having a hard time even getting up to the bridge here. Oh, we're going to be stopping him right here. And have a chat with him. Hello, sir. Trooper Thero with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop is, I don't know if you realize it, but you're missing a tire on the front left here. I didn't check the passenger side yet, but I could tell that you were running on a rim and you got smoke coming from underneath your hood. Um, you got your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance? All right, cool. Thank you. Uh, do me a favor. Let's go ahead and step out of the vehicle real quick for me. And I'm just going to take hold of you. This is just for uh, our safety here. I'm just going to hold on to you and make sure we don't get hit by a car or anything while I walk you over here. I'm going to have you stand over here. I just don't want you to be in the vehicle in case this thing catches on fire or something, okay? Because it is smoking. But, uh, I'll be right back with you. Run his information in the system. See what we come up with. Why is it not picking up his vehicle now? All right. His information comes back clean and clear. Uh, maybe I have to aim at his car more. Or maybe it's because I'm pulling him out of the car. That might be why. I, I might be pulling him out of the car too quick. Well, I'll just do a plate check through um, police radio. Dispatch need a 2729 on an Emperor 03 Henry Frank Larry 469. Well, Mary Smoke has a... Uh, suspended license, but this is not married smoke, so that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. Let me see if there's anything else I need to worry about with this vehicle. Yeah, everything's fine there. 
All right, sir, I'm going to cut you a little bit of a break here. Instead of writing you a citation for operating a motor vehicle that uh, is clearly not in an opera operatable state. God, I cannot talk. That's as best as that's going to come out, too. Uh, I'm actually going to cut you a break and let you walk, but I am not going to let you take the vehicle. The vehicle is getting towed. Um, you can pick it up for Mary again if you need to and get it fixed. I know she has a suspended license, so she can't drive it. But, yeah, this vehicle's not leaving here today. It's in, uh, it's in pretty rough shape. So, I had to cancel the search. I don't have the right or probable cause to search his vehicle, so. We're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of the vehicle and we're gonna let him go. And then, uh... We'll be code four and a uh, ten eight from here. All right, off you go. Oh God! We have a traffic alert on a uh, Del Perro Freeway unit to respond code three. All right, so dispatch wants us to perform a traffic break right now, so we are. Drive to the green marker and slow down the traffic until you reach the red marker. Okay, I've never done this before, so I'm trying to figure it out right now. Let's see here, here's the green marker. Slow down traffic to 10 miles per hour before arriving to the accident. Okay, so we are slowing down the traffic right now. A A A A. Be trying to get past me here. Trying to get this traffic break going. I'm assuming it says slow down traffic from the green marker to the red marker. I'm assuming there's a red marker up here somewhere that I need to get involved in. No. Oh. I mean to click on my gun there. Oh yeah, I see the red marker on the map now. Okay. We are slowing down traffic. not 10 miles an hour but it's pretty slow I can't dice across each lane at 10 miles an hour to get these guys to slow down so we're here at the red marker so I'll just pull up and provide assistance all right, well that was pretty cool. That was one of Taco's callouts, if you didn't know already. He does the uh, highway callouts, and that one was pretty cool. Uh, looks like they're treating somebody right now that was possibly injured. I don't know how. And then, yeah, the ambulance is on scene. There's another highway unit here already. And the uh, police cruiser, so... I guess we're gonna be uh, code four off of this, and we will actually end this patrol here just because there's not a whole lot to go on right now with uh, commercial vehicle enforcement. Um, I noticed there was a few things, but unless we get a script or something, it kind of seems like it's limited to what it is. But uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about this episode and the uh, LSPDFR series. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this series, or any of my other series please hit that subscribe button down below greatly appreciate it lets me know that i'm doing a good job and that you'd like to see more and it also helps me out uh if you're already subscribed to the channel and you enjoyed this episode please hit a like button down there for me as well uh again that helps me out with uh the series and keeping the series going but thanks again guys for watching and I will see you out there on the next patrol of LSPDFR. Take care.